Hi, Shaz here again. One of the common questions I get asked, in fact, I was asked this question today. I was doing a, a live Q&A uh, for somebody for one of their online courses. Uh, and the question is, how do you manage to fit in everything uh, in a day? And that's a, a, a common question I get asked. And I, a lot of people I know struggle with that. I'm sure you might have uh, some of these challenges too, this kind of time management self-management uh, issue which is evergreen ongoing we're always looking to find more time uh, is a, a good concept and there's a lot of people out there by the way uh, who offer lots of advice on time management time management specialist experts call them what you like uh, whether it's looking up looking at emails and other things uh, so i'm just going to share some of the things that i do in the hope that it helps you to become more efficient and effective uh, so the first thing I would say is there's no such thing as time management. We can't manage time. Time ticks by, it goes by. We can only manage ourselves. So some of the things that I do to kind of help me stay really focused uh, is first of all, for every single day without fail in the morning, the first thing that I do is uh, plan my day. So you can do this the night before or the day before. So before you go home, plan what you're going to do the next day. I usually list out three things that I want to get done for sure. Uh, and then I make sure I, I focus on those uh, and I pretty much get them done all the time, every single time. So that helps me a lot. I then want to get into a, a positive uh, mindset. So every morning I go through all of my goals that I've set, uh, which aren't time bound by the way as such. Uh, so they can be pretty much anything from an income goal to a time goal to holidays to whatever things I want. I'm not going to sit there and share all of those with you, uh, but that puts me in, in, in a positive frame of mind. I used to check my emails all the time. Now I, have, I only do that. I try and do it three times a day, but I don't always do three times a day. It sometimes end up, it ends up being five, four or five times, but I don't check it more than five times. Uh, and that works really well. Another technique which I know a lot of people use and it works well uh, is the Pomodoro technique which is working for a certain amount of time and then leaving a break uh, and sometimes people struggle with that. I think it's fantastic. So I work for 20 minutes, then take a 10 minute break, work 20 minutes, take the, a 10 minute break. But those 20 minutes are solid, hardcore, focused work. So no email, no phone calls, uh, no text messages, no social media. And you'll be surprised. Uh, with how much work you actually get done in that time. It's, I mean, it, it's amazing. Something else which helped me a lot, and I, I advocate uh, against something was argued, and that was asked today on, on the call, is delegating and delegation. I think that that's extremely important. You've got to trust other people. You've got to have a, a proper process. You've got to be able to train people, help them grow as well. So I think delegating and letting people do things is fantastic. I know if, if you're anything like me, at some point in your life or even now you think no one can do the job as well as you can. The truth, that's not true, but if it makes you feel happier and makes me feel happier, let's assume that, that no one can do the job as well as we can, but there must be somebody who can do it second best. So train them up and get them to do that and delegate as much as you can, because the more you delegate, the more you're going to free up your time. Uh, and that is going to be a total game changer for you. Now, there's things about, well, are you an early, uh, early riser or do you work better in the afternoons or evenings? I'm not really going to talk about that. Uh, that that's based on you and how, you, how your business works. Uh, but with the, the three tasks that I list every day, once I've finished the first one, I then look at the next one thing. Is this the most important and urgent task for today? If not, has something else come up which is more important, which, which ought to go on the list and become the first and highest priority? Sometimes that happens, sometimes it doesn't. But as I prioritize and reprioritize my tasks, I'm making sure I'm getting the real important work done. And, and that helps a lot uh, as well. With emails, the biggest problem I find apart from any interruptions is people are always sending you questions, requests, uh, to on things to do. And they are things that are advancing their agenda for the day. So if you're not careful, you're always pushing other people's agenda by answering their questions, but you've got your own agenda, your daily tasks uh, that you want to complete, uh, and you lose total control and total grip of those. And that's why 
I check email less, but when I do, I try and get through as many emails as I can, 5, 10, 15, 20, whatever they are, job done, all answered. Okay, back to what do I want to get done for the day? So I'd say, have a focus on that uh, and try and answer an email as thoroughly as you can, rather than just asking a question and then they're gonna come back with something else. Try and ask as much information as you need to, so you know that there's gonna be less emails to and froing, because otherwise sometimes you can send eight or nine emails between two people and just play kind of ping pong. It's a total waste of time uh, for everybody involved. And the most important thing really is when you've got less time, you're gonna be more focused anyhow. That's just the way uh, life works. Uh, so at one point I only had one business and I, that was taking up all of my time. Now I've got five separate businesses and everything else that I do. And I still have to have the same amount of time and I still work the same amount of hours and I get five, seven, eight, ten times as much done. That's because I'm more focused on stuff now and I delegate more and I manage myself better and I know what I'm good at, what I'm not good at uh, and that helps and that kind of realization and uh, understanding how you work is a journey and on that journey you're obviously going to le learn how you can improve. So those are some of my tips. I could sit here for half an hour and kind of run you through my entire day and all the things I do on a daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly basis. Yeah, but uh, that would be too much and I, I, I will share those with you. One final party comment I will make is, uh, if you're creating goals, don't have goals just for the year, break them down and kind of focus on well, how I do it is quarterly goals. So 13 week goals, I find that works better. It's closer, it's real. A year, three years, five years seem a long way away. I do have those goals, but I'm always make sure I break them into quarterly, monthly, and then weekly goals because they just seem like you can get to them a lot quicker. And then you can obviously tick things off. You know you're winning. And every night before you go to bed, always list out the things that you're exceptionally grateful for because that's going to put you in a good uh, frame of mind. Before you go to bed, you'll have a better night's sleep. You'll wake up in the morning and you'll feel better because there's always things that are going in your, uh, happening in your life which are good. And it's as important to celebrate and recall those things and be grateful for those as opposed to focusing on what went wrong. Until next time, bye for now.